Hi guys, Country Girl 555 here, Tina. Um, this is update for Bye Bye Belly's um, contest. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where to start really because I've not been feeling well. I've had a migraine headache and I've not been able to move my neck very well. However, that said, I've been eating well. Um, I had got down to 254 um, the Sunday before this, right? On the next day on Monday, I went up 13 pounds. On the next day on Tuesday, I went up again to 274, which was a 20-pound gain in two days. Today, my weigh-in is 261. And let me make sure my weigh-in is 261 this morning. Um... I cannot even remember my beginning weight because I can't think straight with the head pain that I have had. It has been tremendous. Yeah, absolutely. I know you can't see it, um, but it's 261. Um, I know you can't see that. I know you can't see it. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Um, anyways, so what I've been up to is pretty much um, still still being able to walk. Um, actually, I set a goal for myself to do 10,000 steps a day. I've been able to manage um, uh, an overall last week's total of um, over 70,000 steps, which is um, 21 miles. So my my best last week was 21 miles, and that was a personal goal to me. I told you that I wanted to do Couch to 5K um, at least three times a week for the next. Um, for that's my mini challenge and everything, um, and that's my way of doing that. I got in 21 miles. That's three miles a day uh, plus. So. Um, I, I was able to do that, and I have been able to continue to do that. I may be a little bit behind because I've not been feeling well. That all said, I'm feeling much better. And um, um, I've just had so many things to do, um, walking down the caravan and a lot of things that's been going on. So with that said, um, the migraine headache that I've had has been... Oh, just tremendous. I have a full version of this video already made, but this is only for Baba Belly's contest and my my update with my mini challenge and things. My next mini challenge for the next week is just to continue what I'm doing with um, my personal best as being um, to get that weight back down. I would really enjoy by Sunday being back down to 254. Uh, I know that I had lost 10 pounds, okay, um, from the beginning of this challenge. Losing 10 pounds is a great thing, and I'm pretty sure that my weigh-in was at around 264, 265 at the beginning of this challenge. So what has happened is I lost 10 pounds, and then I gained 20 in two days. So now I've lost back down again from 274 to 261. Um, what's that, 13 pounds? So I know I've got around 7 more pounds to lose. And I've got, today's Tuesday, the 29th of November 2011. And I've got like, um, until really Sunday, uh, which I classify my regular weigh-ins in on on Sunday, um, well, what day will that be? <laughs> I'm going to check right fast. Let me just move this camera over and I will have to have a look and tell you. Oh, my sister's birthday. Um, let's see if I can do that for my sister for a birthday. That would be great. Because I'd be that much closer to being uh, under her weight. <laughs> um, December the 4th is Sunday. So that is when I would like to see that other 7 pounds dropped back off. Guys, if you don't know what medication bloating is and things like that, um, 
that's exactly what I suffer from an overnight weight gain uh, all of a sudden I just swell up and I hold and I retain and I cannot get rid of the fluid I suffer really bad with that and um, it is a really really horrible thing I in the past two to three months I've went through it this will be the fourth time and uh, it's not a fun feeling at all to uh, go to sleep weighing 254 and wake up weighing 13 pounds more and then wake up the next morning weighing 7 pounds more and knowing that your diet did nothing to make this happen to know that you didn't do anything out of the way you didn't eat anything wrong you did not not exercise you didn't do anything to make this occur so my mini goal for this week is just not to have this bloating thing. I went off all medications besides my uh, my injection uh, and my metformin. Um, I take five metformin tablets a day, 500 milligrams for my diabetes, type 2 diabetic, and I take an injection every day when I first get up. Um, but other than that, um, six days ago I went off all that medication uh, again. I, I was only on the medication for a month. I had went off of it for five months, went back on it for a month, taking it only one time, which was at night. It was a seizure medication for my legs because I have severe nerve, nerve damage and back damage. And uh, I'm at a pain medication for my back because of the... Um, four, five, five L disc and, and my back um, being di as damaged as they are. Um, they are either bulging, herniated, or or whatever, and I suffer from DDD in my back. That said, I can still walk. I couldn't walk before, so that's good. Um, so my mini goal for this week is just to continue with what I am doing and what I did last week, which was walking eating right, um, moving as much as possible, and doing anything different, trying to get the stress off of me. Because as you uh, may have known, I was I have been under a lot of stress. So um, my goal for December the 4th, I don't know what week that puts us into. I hope that I've done everything for this contest to be right on par. Um, but honestly, I can't think straight when having, this is the first migraine that I've had in so long. Uh, it, it caused my neck to actually I wasn't able to move it I can move it side to side yeah almost <laughs> uh, but the back and far uh, is still pretty bad um, and then in my temples and everything um, and in my eyes and all I have massive massive migraine now I don't know if that was related to stress I have no clue um, I, I do know that the week before last I took the, the flu influenza injection into my arm here. And uh, I normally do have flu-like symptoms after that, but with this massive amount of a migraine, I don't know if that was associated with it or not, but um, it could have been. I, I don't know. Um, I feel better today and I can actually hold my head up and, and speak and smile and this and that and I did actually get some sleep because um, the migraine was preventing me from sleeping um, and in then in some stages it was making me sleep more uh, it was just off and on but I was just restless and I couldn't I couldn't lay my head down so I have this roll pillow see it's just a roll pillow that goes behind my neck because I actually I can't hold my neck up um, to where I need to hold it I have to have some support there I was wrapping the scarf around with heating uh, sachets lined in the scarf um, and wrapping it around my neck and that's what I've been doing also infrared lighting on my um, neck as well and not taking any kind of, of medication because uh, I know what all that does to my stomach and everything with the bloating. I didn't take any kind of paracetamol or, you know, we don't have Tylenol in this country, but paracetamol is the equivalent of Tylenol uh, and like Advil and stuff, so paracetamol. Um, and then also there's one with codeine in it as well. You can buy over the counter, but I haven't taken any of that, nothing 
at all whatsoever and I feel really good about that because the stomach bloating and stuff is trying to come down and even I can tell in my fingers um, <coughs> excuse me this is what I've been doing that's all I've been doing uh, for a week sneezing coughing vomiting um, I'm still able to eat and and keep my my food but then all of a sudden I start vomiting because of the pain so bad in my neck and my head um, that I have just started vomiting and vomiting last night seven times it was horrible um, but for about four or five days now I've stayed around uh, 264, 263, 262, and then today I'm 261. So it's gradually, slow and sure, coming down. And like I said, even in my fingers, I can tell because they were so swollen. I can look at those, and then um, in, in this area, and tell that I've lost uh, the swelling that I was having. I'm complete, and even in my face, I can tell by looking. And that's not something you would hear me say. That is a non-scale victory for me to say that I can look into this camera and look into my face and, and the mirror and the reflection and see that I've actually lost um, all over. Not just face, not just neck bones and things like that, not just in the arms and, and, and the joints and, and the fingers and my appendages and, and things like that. It's the way my stomach. I noticed today and last night uh, my stomach was feeling a lot less bloated and that is one amazing feeling absolutely one amazing feeling so bye bye belly jennifer thank you for shouting out to for us to um subscribe to you on yahoo um in case we need to talk uh, get serious is what you said and so i have i apologize for not being on the computer for four or five days but i've absolutely been so amazingly busy migraine uh walking and trying to do everything I can do to, to get things together because um, I will be having a surprise for everybody, including my parents. Um, that I've been holding on to some information that um, I've not shared with, with many. So that's great. Um, I have not been able to watch you guys' videos. Um, please comment on this video if you are in this contest please so I can make sure that I have everyone uh, subscribed to because I have tried to reach out and to sub subscribe to several but some that I have not been able to so if you would please just put a smiley face or a sad face or whatever you want uh, as a comment to this video I'm going to put it as a response video to Bye Bye Belly's contest and I hope that everyone in the contest is doing well. Um, I hope that you're fitting in your pink jackets well. I hope that every single thing that you've wanted to do has come along like you wanted it to. Uh, I don't anticipate winning this contest, however, I do need the money. <laughs> but I just all that I want from this is to get a little closer to the ones of you who are relating on the um, food addiction part of it the emotional eating the binge eating and everything like that I try to keep it as real as possible and telling you everything that is possible you'll see in another video some of the things that I've eaten this week that are kinda out of the box but I've still been able to control and maintain and slowly be able to lose weight. I think I did need those things into my diet, but you'll see in another video. Hopefully, I'll get that uploaded as well. Uh, I am behind on several things, so just say it's my bad. I is my bad. It's my bad. All right, guys. Peace out. That's how we roll. This is Country Girl 555. God bless you. I'll pray for you in hopes that you pray for me. And, um, um, weigh in today 261 okay so if my beginning weigh in was 264 that means I've only lost three pounds and I say only with a big ta 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 because I gained 20 pounds I lost 10 gained 20 and so now I can see there is a headway of a loss of three pounds 
um, from the beginning of this contest. So um, this was not about weight loss for me in the first place. <laughs> it was about maintaining, really. Um, I did say I wanted to lose 15 pounds. Actually, I got I have actually gotten to lose 10, but gain 20. So two stepping is what I do. I do it, and I do it in a major bad way. Two stepping, two steps forward and and one step back. Two steps forward and one step back. I am a two stepper, and it is because of medication bloating and things like that. I know that full well. And I'm having to suffer in pain for it right now because I went off the medication completely, um, which is something I'm prepared to do. I went off of it for five months to get to to where I wanted to be in the first place um, because I was two-stepping so bad with the medication bloating. And, uh, and then I went back on the medication for a month. And then that said, I was only taking it one time at night um, so I could try to get some sleep because you guys, if you know me, you know I suffer with insomnia and and things like that. So uh, it's just all been a, a vicious little cycle, but I see headway. So that's a non-scale victory for me. I can see headway and I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of myself for being able to get through this without the pain medication because of all the pain that I do have. Um, Acute, severe, chronic pain is is not something that you would like to deal with every day. We do deal with it. I deal with it. I personally deal with it, and it's hard. And um, I have to find a way to get through it, and I do. I have upped my water this week. That is another little mini goal I have. Um, increasing my water without the color treatment. The color treatment, what I call, is color coating my water with crystal light and everything like that. The only thing that I put in my water this week is pure lemon. Whole lemon, squeeze, fresh squeezed lemon. Um, I can show you. And a 32 liter container um, with a straw. This is what I've been drinking. There's a half of the lemon in there that's been squeezed into that. That's all I've been drinking. I've had nothing else to drink, no sweetened juices, um, nothing um, since Thanksgiving Day. Oh, since before, since before Thanksgiving Day, I think. Um, let's see, that would have been at least five days, six days ago. I have I've drank nothing but lemon water. Um, and I think it's helping. Uh, it's helping to move the things through my body well. I've cut my vitamins in half because I've had to, uh, because I can't afford to buy the full amount of vitamins, so they've been cut in half, um, and I'm sparingly spacing them out. I know several days that I've not even taken some certain vitamins, only the main vitamins at all. But um, that's going pretty well as well. <sighs> Sorry. Um, Let's see, what else to say? Sorry the TV is so loud she can't hear, so um, it has to have subtitles on it and has to be very loud, which doesn't help when you have a migraine, which is why I've actually not been on the computer uh, for so long because I can't stand to sit in here with the TV so tremendously, outrageously loud. It's just been horrifying. Um, that's the way, that's the way it goes. She's 80 years old. <laughs> um, okay guys, that's it, that's it, that's it. I don't want to go over 20 minutes and it looks like I'm going to. Peace out. That's how we roll. God bless you all. I hope you do something for yourself today so you can do something for someone else tomorrow. I hope everyone in this contest is doing well, living right, eating good, and getting your exercise. Bye. Ta-da! That means bye!